Welcome to Jake's Game Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. How is everyone doing today? Today we're looking at, if I put it up on the screen, it would help, it is my TTL 74 series logic, the 74LS85, a 4 bit magnitude comparator. Now, this chip has some interest to me because I plan on using it in my code crack game to tell if you got the code right. I'll be using two of these. But let's go over the pinout on this. You have um, a 16 pin chip and you have you have your 5 volts here on 16 you have your ground here on 8 and then you have an A0 on 10 A1 on there A3 on 15 and A2 on 13 and then that leaves B0, B1, B2, and B3. And then you have inputs from a... Uh, we'll do these in rainbow colors. These here are inputs to put in to this from a larger string of numbers to cascade them. And then these glittery things right here, non-glittery ones, are your outputs that show you what is on the circuit. And if we take a look at the data sheet here, um, it talks about um, it's a four-bit word. Um, it can the LS can about 24 nanoseconds is the typical delay. Um, and then it has our truth table here. This this threw me for a loop with the inputs and the outputs because. You have to actually set an output high to get the results you want to get. But I believe it's working after some trial and error. Normally I don't try it out. I just uh, I just go at it. So here's a look at the logic diagram. It, it, it looks like basically we got some NAND gates here. You know, we got... Come up here. We have some, you know, we got some NAND gates here. And then this is some, you know, sum of products stuff here with your AND gates going into NOR gates, or if some of products would be OR gates, but they're inverting in the output. And then they're coming into AND gates again. And it, I'm not sure what this section is. Is this a multi input AND gate? I'm not sure what that is. So, if they all oh, it's an inverting input AND gate. So, they all come into this AND gate and they invert before they go into it. And this AND gate, the equal sign is if they're all just non-inverted, then boom, there it is. So, that that is strange. So, let's go here. And, you know, we got the logic diagram here you know inputs on one side outputs on the other um, it shows you the LS series right here we got a re resistor on the output so uh, we won't need any LEDs and then we have some specs for it but the TTL specs are about the same let's take a look at the circuit I built that's a, a little bright okay so we're going to come in here we're going to put on 5 volts to this and I made a mess I haven't filmed the mail bag yet and I made a mess alright so let's turn this on and as you can see my middle light is equal I didn't label these I'm sorry guys I did not label these Okay, so let me look here. <coughs> this one is equal to, this one is A is greater than B, and this one is A is less than B. Okay, greater than, and then this is, this is B and this is A. Well, I really messed that up. I should have swapped them. So this is A, this is B. So they're equal. So if I make A greater than B by adding one bit here, this light should come on. And it does. 
because this is now a 1 and that is now a now what if I make this a 2 if I make that a 2 now let's make this one a 2 and they're back to equal again so that is you know basically it. you have an 8 in the 8's column and then you add a 1 add a 1 Add another one, add another one. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, some dip switches, some LEDs. The, the blue LEDs are ferocious, I know. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, you can see the circuit. I will pull this out here like this. And I will try to get a close-up shot of the circuit with no power on it with this camera here so you can see it this is a close-up of the circuit let me get it into better focus there you go that's a close-up of the circuit it's still hard to see the you see I got ground or power here and ground here I had in order to get this work I had to tie pin 3 the equals input um, pin where A equals B in pin 3 I had to tie that high in order for it to know that everything that was being input in here was going to be an equal symbol so and then I thought oh I'll tie everything else low to make sure I didn't get any glitches or anything but that made it way worse and that's what threw me off because with TTL chips any non used inputs you want to tie low and I did do that I tied the other two low and that just made a world of mess it didn't work I couldn't get it to work and it it confused me to no end because all I've ever been told was in TTL chips always tie the non-used inputs low and it it threw me for a loop you know but yeah I leave them floating and it seemed to work so maybe it's that chip I didn't try another chip but it could be so let's talk about uh, my test gear here it is the singlet test gear is what I used I used the power supply today the SPD 3303 um, I'm currently using the electronic load to discharge a battery pack to get a rating on it to see how good it is and uh, didn't need to use a meter in this instance um, and that's about it for the singlet test gear let's talk about the social media links support me on patreon guys thank you so much and have a